The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie and Bookerton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling following us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. It's making a great one. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want, is like trying to change a dog into a cat, a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 364. You get the NASDAQ off 275, S&P's off 55. Gold contract up $34, trading 1970 an ounce. You got silver up 60 cents, $25.81 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $7.39 at 115.10. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 31 ticks, 128.15. Remember, there's 32 ticks and a, and a, and a uh, full point. Uh, 30 year up a full two points plus 17 ticks at 159.10 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 827 ticks, trading 98.613. The euro is at 109. The yen is at 114. The British pound is at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see inside the SPY. You're down $5.40. You have volume of $84 million, which is light volume. Uh, that being said, you're at $4.30 right now. We've hit $4.27. The, high, the highs of the lows are $4.28.76. Uh, what I expect, let's go take a look at the futures here. U.S. H. We're down 53. Take a look at this E-mini. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so the high of today didn't have volume. What did have volume, though, is at 220. That might get tested. 43.21. Well, that's kind of that's 16 points higher than we are right now. Well, this is the, this is the bar that's going to make a difference. Where we're at? Well, let me see this one second. So we're 310. Oh, okay. A new bar starts right now. Okay. Well, this this bar is going to tell us, folks, because what you have is this. So you can see the highs of of today, no volume. So it, my take is that that's not where you're going. Okay. What you do have is that you have this bar at 20 past two. That has some juice into it. I mean, we did 31,000 contracts there, and then we came back down with 26, and we just did 24. So most times when you see that, that would mean that first you're going to basically go up and test that level up here at that uh, 3221, and right, 4321. Now let's go take a look at the NDX 100. So we take a look at the three Qs. What you have with the three Qs is this. Three Qs are down 62 million shares. Now, the queues are going to open. Are they, They're already inside the lows of the highs. So the queues to me, well, uh, the market in general to me is going to gap down next week. That's how this thing is setting up right now. The queues don't look to me like they're going to catch a bid at all. If we go to the end queues and we take a look at this, 
you'll see that the low of today is 13,733. Right now we're at 792. Okay, so this, whoops. We take a look at these futures. Yeah, this one's lower price. Okay, so there's a differential here, too, between the E-minis and the NQs. And what it is is this. You can see the bar that, you know, we were talking about at 20 past 2. This has this bar, and it has some volume in it. But what the difference is, that bar there had 11,000 contracts inside the NQs. Then we came down with 10,500. Yeah, that's telling me these NQs are going to go for the lows and probably break out these lows as we come into the close. And if that's what we get, bottom line, S&Ps are going to go in the same place. Gold. Gold contract is on the run in a monster way. What we have out here, you got gold trading up $35. You get 217,000 contracts. There's plenty of contract volume. So you're broken topside. You have volume behind the move. If we take this and we put this on a con On a continuous contract, what you're going to see out here that's pretty screaming is this, okay? Because now you take this on a weekly, and what you're going to see is that the all-time high is 2063. Well, guess what? We just launched, I mean, the way this is set up, 216, oh, no, 1916. 17, that's 180. That's 1916, 2016, 2116. Yeah, this is going to be an ABC structure up. So when, you, when you're taking a look at this gold contract, folks, I suspect, number one, you're going to go right for this uh, 2063. And, excuse me. And more than likely, you are not going to stop. This is going to be an ABC structure on the way up. The B to C has, I mean, the C to D has already started. And uh, we'll see how this baby shakes out. That's what it's looking like, though. Silver. We got to take a look at the silver contract. Come on, baby. Um, S. Okay, we go take a look at the silver contract. Silver right now is up sixty-one cents. We have sixty-two thousand contracts. So silver just launched. Okay, cool. Okay, so silver, 2550. 20. Oh, this is nice. That's four bucks. That's 30 bucks. Silver wants to go to 30 bucks, which totally makes sense. We pull this up. We take a look at silver. And right now, I'll put this on our generic contract because I, I think it's either 29 or 30. That is the next uh, swing point in silver. And. Yeah, it is. It's 30.50. So it's 30.50, and this also can be an ABC structure up. And if it is, it's a monster, too. It would be uh, 11.70. Yeah, the 29. So, uh, man, you're talking uh, 21.31. Man, yeah, we're, we're, talking, we're talking almost 40 bucks. Stay right there. Come right back, folks. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 350. You get the Nasdaq off 268. S&Ps are off 52. We got a question in the Tigers Den. Uh, one of them. Great question. The bottom line is that if you had 100000 today to invest, where would you put it in the next 12 months? I'd put it right in my pocket, period. OK, this is not a market uh, to go long in and not even close. OK, so if we take a look at this uh, S&P, you're going to when you get a downdraft like this, folks, OK, people think it's down low right now. It's not even close, man. But once you start something like this, never mind. I, I was in the markets when the last long term capital went and Russia imploded. OK, um, we're only at the beginning of this deal, man. That's the bottom line. Uh, the thing that's really crazy on this one is that even if you were shot the Russian stocks and if some if you folks are and you can close it, close the thing, because what's going on, the big money. I was looking at this. OK, the big money can't even close your tr the trade. So it's not like they're going to make money. They were right on the aspect, but they can't close the trade because everything's closed. So if you're trading something on ETF that is shot at Russian equities, close them, man. That's the real bottom line. So the SPX, my take, guess what? We're trading 4,300. You can stop putting that money to work at 3,300. That's my, uh, we're going, my take is we're going down there. We'll see how it shakes out. But bottom line, that's how it looks looking to me right now. Uh, we take a look at the, okay, Palladium. Palladium spot. Okay, so we get spot trading at 3,000. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. So what, the, what, what happens here is this, is that you got palladium as well as platinum, folks. Well, palladium more so. Um, the Russians have almost, you know, if it's not 80% of it, it's pretty close. It, it's, a, it's a big number. So you can see palladium. This is amazing, actually. Palladium. 3,000, yeah. It looks like it's going to take out the size of 3,018. So you're going to see stuff that's like wild, man, because that would be saying if we take that out, that would be 28. That's another 1,400 on top of uh, 28. 28, 38, 42, 4,200. You know, and it, yeah, that can go to 4,200. Platinum, plate, uh, platinum rather, let's go look at platinum market. So platinum right now, and by the way, I wouldn't be buying palladium. I would be buying platinum. That's the real bottom line. Um, you know, platinum 
is way undervalued. I, I know the differences of how they're mined and what you get and, you know, the bottom line. Platinum is totally where it's at. And there's a lot of room in platinum, man. I mean, a lot of room, um, you know, because what will also happen is this. If palladium goes to where I just said to go to, you will see the car companies switch so quick to, pl- to platinum, it'll blow your mind. I mean, I've been in these markets and I saw them switch from platinum to palladium because palladium used to be like 200 bucks, man. OK, and platinum was, uh, you know, here, well, I can, I can I'll put this up for you. And, you know, platinum was like five times on top of it. So the trade here for higher reward, less risk is platinum. But that's how this shakes out. And what we have here is that you're going to see platinum just launched the 1106. So that's saying that 1106 platinum's on its way. Let's see. Like 1350. So what are these numbers here? That's 12, 1275. Yeah, uh, this is cool. Okay, so 1339 is the last uh, high. And I suspect the uh, bottom line is that that's where, that's where we're going to go. Let's go take a look at Harmony Gold. This is on the run. This is, you know, these, these, these babies broke topside with volume. You take a look at Harmony. Um, again, today it's up 24 cents. So in four days, five days, this just went to 384 to 512. And put this on a monthly. Yeah, this thing's on its way up to uh, 7, 6, 761. That's how this is set up. And I suspect the Rand is probably somewhere about 18 or something. Let's see where we are. 15. We're only at 15. That's interesting. Okay, so it's 15 Rand dollar to one U.S. dollar. Uh, they can still make plenty of money at that, at that point. PTON. Let's go take a look at Peloton. The low is 2246. The high is 129. They're still losing money. They plan on taking 972 million in this quarter and making and losing 77 cents. Okay, so yeah, Th- this equity right here, I believe, I think he just bought it today, didn't he? Let me see this thing. Yeah, okay. Well, you bought it at 2480. I'd get out of it right now. I would not. If you're in trades right now over this weekend, okay, that you're in a trade, just get out, man. <laughs> okay. Peloton, to me, Peloton's going to get down to this uh, 17 bucks and it might break 17. Peloton's losing money hand over fist. And fundamentally, they're telling you that they're contracting versus growing. You see these numbers right here? Bottom line is that uh, they did four billion last year. That's probably going to be their peak. It's three point seven billion this year. They're claiming they're going to do four point one next year. But guess what? How do they know that when you're six quarters away from it? Okay, I wouldn't be. And you, you, get, you get a you get a, you get an equity that takes in three point seven billion and loses three dollars and seventy two cents a share. Well, we all can do that, man. That's not that doesn't take a that doesn't take a lot of uh, brains to do, man. You know, and those are the types of companies that, yeah, they're great when they're going higher. But guess what? <laughs> uh, when you, you're in for a uh, correction and uh, a change, you know, the bottom line is that there's, there's nothing there. XLF. So the banking sector, we take a look at the XLF out here. Um, XLF right now. Well, that's got a high volume low right over here. I can. 90, so that's 36 bucks. Let me put this on a weekly. Yeah, the, the XLF next stop is 35.18. This is this, this looks to me, this is top heavy. It's going to break down. And what does happen inside of the markets, folks, when you get a, a larger correction, the financials are always the later ones to break lower. That That's how this baby shakes out. So... I'd be really careful. Um, that's the bottom line. So you're going to see volatility 
like you probably haven't seen. <laughs> That's the real bottom line, folks. That's how this baby's set up. Freeport MacMoran FCX. Uh, Freeport MacMoran, this is the largest copper producer as well as gold producer in the world. Um, we take a look at Freeport MacMoran. This baby right now is trading out at uh, $49. And let's see what we did. Okay, so let me put this on a weekly because we can see whether it's going to be a large ABC structure up. Hundred ninety-one million. No, it, it, it's broken high. It's not an ABC up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charted software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading down 320. The Nasdaq's off 265. S&Ps are off uh, 47. And, uh, you know, there's, there's no doubt, folks, okay, the uh, bottom line is that so you get Russia. What ends up happening with these defaults is this. Okay, so first off, all the sanctions, Russia is going to default on everything. One of, the, one of the first payments coming out is March 16th, okay? But you can expect all these bonds to go kaput. In fact, uh, see if I can find the story for you, because this is pretty cool. I remember this guy. Um, OK, so there was, there was this attorney that was just a hound dog for um, Elliot. So what had happened is this. So picture this. You know what's so cool about this is actually 
you know, when I basically started in this business, not even knowing <laughs> the, the business in general, I started the exact same place, meaning in ba basically bankrupt bonds. Um, and I was using the bonds and I was, cha I was basically bringing the bonds back to airlines, getting tickets on 100, 100% of the dollar. Um, but anyway, to make a long story short, the, the guy that, so in Argentina defaulted, I'm going back over, over 20 years. Argentina did a total default. What ended up happening is that Elliott management start buying all their bonds, all their bonds. Bottom line, it was a 15 year fight and this guy won it and they got paid hand over fist. Everyone else took a, um, you know, a partial payment. They didn't get anything. 15 years later, this guy got everything. Bottom line, the attorney, uh, if you do this, if you Google on, on if you Google on, it's a, it's a Bloomberg article. Um, he is saying he's, he's not even worth a penny. And this is why. So normally what ends up happening, folks, is this, is that when you do a bond issue, right? First off, you have where is the legal um, bottom, you know, is it, is it going to be the UK? Is it going to be the US? Is it going to be the Cayman Islands? Is it going to be, you know, what, where's the jurisdiction? Okay. Well, what he's talking about, what he's saying now, he just went through them all. And guess what? The, the legal jurisdiction normally is the UK for stuff over in Russia and all that. Well, the bottom line is not. It's in Russia. Okay. So that no one's going to get paid. It's not even close. Okay. And why? And, and what he was saying is that why should they pay it? Because guess what? He's just throwing money, they're throwing hard currency away, which they need hard currency. Okay. So now the question is, who is holding the bag? Okay. So every time there's a disruption like this, right, everyone always claims, including in the United States, including our own banks, oh, we don't have any of that. We don't have any of that. And then all of a sudden, it only, it only takes about three or four weeks. Oh, my God. Someone has something. Okay. So you can expect there's going to be a few dislocations out here in a monster way. And I expect we're going to see that in the next couple of weeks. And what that does, that throws more volatility in the marketplace. But what it also does is throws more selling in the marketplace. Because as soon as the, like right now, what I was explaining to you at the beginning of the program, that you could have been right in the aspect of shorting the Russian market even through the United States markets, right? But guess what? You can't close the trade. So it doesn't matter. It's a frozen deal. So in this particular case, it's going to be even more wild, okay? So someone's holding the bag here, okay? And I expect the, vol the, the volatility is going to be there. Lower prices are going to be here. Now, this is where this gets interesting. If that's the case, and our markets basically continue to be volatile, continue to go lower, now let's talk about the interest rate structure. Because what's going to happen with the interest rate structure, and let me put up the 10-year for a second. So we take a look at this 10-year, and you're going to see, you know, that's, no, that's not T-Y. Okay, here we go. So we're dealing with the June 10-year. You have wide price spread. You get accelerated volume, you know? So this bottom line is that this is saying to me, man, you know, you're going to go a little bit higher. You know, I, I, I would say that the, the rate structure, yeah, is still going to go up. It's not going to go up nearly as much as any of us thought basically a few weeks ago. Not even close. Because the last time that this happened, which is in 98, it came, it, this is what it did. It took six weeks. The, the debacle started actually in Indonesia, it took six weeks to go from Indonesia to Russia. And once it basically hit Russia, it hit us basically two or three days later because long term capital, you know, bottom line, you know, and, and do, you, do you know that that default there, folks, this was so crazy about long term capital. I believe it was only either four billion dollars or 40 billion. It was like so it's such a small amount. Now it'll blow your mind. But bottom line, that type of money. Um, and if someone could Google that in the in, I'll Google in the break. It was small money. It'll shock you, actually, uh, the type of small money that we, compared to what we talk right now, how that basically took the markets, took himself. Okay, so 
When that happened, he pitched six weeks. It started July 14th, I believe. Because the reason I know, uh, we're out the vineyard. I was doing a show from my deck on the vineyard, right where Jaws was filmed. Right, right, that, that little harbor right there. I was doing a show. I was doing a live show there. And I remember I, had a, I jumped in my whaler because it was like on that Monday. I was, I was on vacation. I have to get back to work, man. So it was the week of July 14th. That started it. And what ended up happening is that that baby went straight out all the way till October. And the way that ended is that Greenspan and Ruben came out in the middle of the day, not in the middle of the day, came out at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and turned around and brought interest rates down by two full points. That exploded the market. So the, the point of this story is that we're only at the beginning of this whole deal. That's the first point. The second point is that rates are not going to go astronomical like up two points in two years. It's not going to happen. I, what is going to happen, rates are definitely going up. My take is rates are going up. And they, it, this is going to put a pressure on them, though, that they're not going to be able to go up as fast as they would have been going up prior to this. Because you, you're going to have dislocations inside the marketplace that are phenomenal. We're going to have oil prices that are through the roof that more than likely are going to put pressure on everything. I mean everything. You can see if we take a look at the, you know, the fertilizers companies, th these things are going to go to the moon, man. You got Mosaic right now. So in, in six days, Mosaic's gone from uh, 42 to 59. You take this. And this is the stuff we need for, you know, basically, well, yeah. That's on its way to, okay, so let me just see. Oh, yeah, you got an ABC up. Look at this. Okay, this is a beautiful ABC up, too. One, two. It's a big one. 650. How you do it? Okay, so you got a 32 day to be. Oh, look at this. 32, 42, 52, 6. Oh, this is interesting, man. So you, 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 have, one eight, eight, well, you have one ABC structure up to 62. We've already had 59. But now you have another one. I love it when there's one inside another. And you got 20, 28, 30. So you got 15, which gets you. 34, 44, 50. No. All right, that's, that's only 50. Yeah, so it's the bigger one. Bottom line, we're going a lot higher. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials, uh... Down 330, get the Nasdaq off 276, S&P's off 50. Okay, so I just pulled long-term capital, folks, and you've got to crack up. So the bailout of long-term capital was $3.5 billion. That's it. Okay? Just think about that for a second, man. $3.5 billion. Almost feels like we can do $3.5 billion. We think, get things going, right? I mean, that's crazy. Compared to the numbers we're talking now, oh, my God. Unreal. Let's go to Mark in Bedford. Mark, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. No time no talk to you. How are you? I know, man. I'm doing good. Yourself? That's good. I miss you with uh, Tommy in the morning. I wish you guys would get back together again. I wish you. Well, would yeah, he's he's gonna together. he's he's gonna be doing one with his son. You should hear him growl right now. He can growl, Tom, folks. He's growling like crazy. We growl every morning, man. It's awesome. Well, yeah. may, well maybe you need to. Uh, Maybe you need to have that as part of your intro every day. Put that on tape and use that as your uh, as your intro. We're gonna get them on. Um, yeah, Tom, I have I have two questions. The, the second one is a stupid question, but let me ask the, the non stupid one first. My question is on bonds, I'm specifically on the ten year. If if, the, if we have a rally in bonds, that means the yield will come down. Well, that means inter, uh, mortgage interest rates come down, but they blip down. And if so, how does this go back to what a lot of callers called you about yesterday, which is um, uh, mortgage rates and that kind of thing in the, in the housing market? Okay, great question. So what happens, is, um, rates, mortgage rates are still very inexpensive. They're like 3.75 today, a 30-year rate. So, you know, as I've said many times, I get plenty of mortgages at 4.5 that I never refinanced either because that, you know, refinance is like only 10,000 bucks or something. It's like, okay, to make it up, you, you know, you really, it, it's, it's always like tempting because it's like, oh, we can take more money out of that. But the bottom line is that, you know, at 4.5, I'm cool with 4.5. The, the aspect of rates, longer term rates going up, that'll slow that aspect. There's no doubt about that. Uh, that being said, though, Guess what? To me, you can't have this type of situation. I mean, this is the first land war in Europe since the Second World War. So none of us were around, and we don't even know where this can go, man. You know? So to me, you know, like, it was a question in the Tigers then, what do you go, you know, if you had to put $100,000 to work, what do you do? I said, I put it in my pocket, man. <laughs> you know, it's going to take... I think longer for all of us to get clarity of where this is. I mean, you know, Putin's out of his freaking mind. He always has been. I mean, you've been listening to me long enough. You know how much I couldn't stand him, period. But that, that, well, that, yes, I, I, I agree with that. That's, you know, and I, I'm waiting for someone at the U.N. to throw them off the Security Council. I, I think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be Well, they, listen, time. man, the U.N.'s never done anything, so it's, that's a no, joke. No. The U.N., you know, but. Yeah. But but that's but that's another question. So so that was my my first question. My second one was which may be a, a stupid question, but I'll ask it anyway. Um, you were talking about yesterday and specifically today in the beginning of the show about how you know this big downslot that you think is coming next week. Yes. So my question is is 
and you always talk about energy in the market. Right. If we have a real bad correction, uh, will that all that a- a negative energy has to be countered, and will we have a bounce afterwards? Maybe a day later, maybe five days later. Well, I'm just taking my my strategy strategy for the next two or three weeks. No, I'm with you. I think this is setting up for a really good buy. That's where my head's at because. What, what has happened is this. We're, as, as a country, we're in really good shape, okay? We made it through the pandemic. They spent a lot of money out there. And, you know, bottom line, folks, my take, thank God they did. Because guess what? There's plenty of folks that needed it. There's comp- companies that needed it. There's people that needed it. And I've always, well, you've heard me talk about this a million times. If you have cash flow, you can work your way out of anything. And that's what the administrations did they sent the cash flow out to all the citizens, okay? So we worked our way through that. We don't have, we still don't have, you know, there's not a huge amount of debt that, that's out here, which is really cool. This is not like 2007. Um, what we do have, I, I expect, though, which I talked about a little bit earlier, I, I expect that what you're going to see is that, you know, there's folks, in fact, one of the tigers in the den, he was so right, um, I was ta- when I was talking about, well, everyone can say they don't hold, hold any Russian debt or bonds. And if you remember that the debacle and the housing crisis, you know, these big banks were saying the same thing and they held so much. It was insane. OK, so I expect that we're going to see that come out. Um, and then the, the energy crisis is going to hit this economy, man. I mean, you can't pay um, the type of money that we're going to have to pay. And we are. So that'll slow things down. And I, I would well, say, yes, I, uh, yes, I like, perfectly agree with that. Unless you're, unless you're driving, driving a Prius or a Tesla, my. But um, um, you know, I'm just trying to get my head wrapped around what's going to happen the next one or two or three weeks, because I'm thinking, geez, if Tom really thinks we'll have a, we'll have a big sell off Monday, maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, will that be a playable bounce? Or would you be short over the weekend, and then maybe Monday, Tuesday, flip it and go long? Yeah. Yeah. And if that's what you're going to get, what will end up happening is this. So, so let's pitch. Let's picture I'm right in the context that we gap lower on Monday. Right. If we gap lower on Monday, you will see a you'll see a three to four hundred S&P point move lower. This is not going to be the first day will be 100. The second day will be 100. It'll, it'll just blow people's minds. OK. And if that's what we get, what you're going to see there is that then what you're going to see is you're going to see the aspect of. The trend go astronomically and the tick go astronomically up, both of them. When that happens and you're at a level that, uh, you know, that at least there's some type of, you know, let me, I'll, I'll put, let me put the spy up for a second. Just, I'll put the cash up just so I can see where I can speculate. Okay, so... Okay, so let's say that, uh, yeah, that, that makes sense. So let's say that, let's say the next leg just takes you down to the 40, the 30, what is that? 3950 area in the cash, right? If it takes the 3950 in the cash, what you could expect, if that we get, as long as we get there fast, you could expect that you'll get a bounce. Now, the way this normally works, folks, is this. This is what would be really wild, that we would get a bounce all the way back up to the 4200. <laughs> so it'd be a good bounce, man. When you, you know, they're just like just like on the way down. You, just, you, you can see that the first low was forty four hundred, and then we went all the way back up to forty six hundred. You know, and then you know, bottom line, you got back down to what's that forty two, forty two ninety. Yeah. So I mean, there's there's going to be bounces to be had. I mean, in a big way for sure. Um, and 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 if you and if you know. The bounce or the or the or the down downdraft is coming the day before. Um, play it maybe right at the close because when you wake, as you would say, wake up in the morning and you won't be able to get in or get out. That's so, correct. Yeah. That's correct. Would that be a fair assessment? And that is the way to trade it. That's how that's how I traded and the two thousand and seven to two thousand nine. That's how you trade it, man. Both ways. Cookie and Tom, thank and you very much. Have a great, have a great one, man. Weekend. Have a safe one. Stay safe. And when I say that's how you trade it, folks, this is what normally happens. If you remember 2007, 2008, we got basically 1,200 points down. It opened up the next morning, it opened up 800. 
You, if you're long, you got to close that trade right, at, right away because you're in a downtrend. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 236. You got the NASDAQ off 248. S&Ps are off uh, 39. And yeah, you got a little bounce on here, but that doesn't change my idea of uh, where we're going to go here. Oh, because let, let me show you this. This is this is so this morning, folks. You know, I, you really should be all, always checking the indices. Okay, so I have, actually have a well, just one button I could put up, which is pretty cool, to get all, all the indices in the world. Okay. Well, you can, this morning, when I put this up, even when, I, when our futures were only down, like, I don't know, they were down 15, it was like, okay, now, you can see the FTSE's down 3.5%, the CAT was down almost 5 the DAX almost 5 These were all 2.5% this morning. So if you get my daily newsletter, you know, I put it in there, it says, man, this is going to be a down day again, okay? When you see something like this, folks, oh, and Asia was also down. Okay, the bottom line, we took it Asia. Asia was down. Nikkei was down 2.5%. Hang Seng down 2.5%. When you get something like that, bottom line, the probability of our markets getting any traction are very small. That, that's the bottom line. So when we take a look at these markets out here, what you're going to see, oh, let me get the DAX up, because this is, this is a decisive break lower. And you have, it has the wide price spread. It has the volume behind the move. And... You know, well, I'll know about the volume tonight, but you can see where we're at. Well, this is already into and past the place where I think the S&P is going to go. Okay, 
The DAX is in big trouble, man. And they should be in big trouble because, unfortunately, the German government was, was doing business with the Russians and they depended on them for, like, oil. They, you know, listen, we, we have disagreements in this country, but I can't even understand how the Germans, they, they've always had a problem with um, energy, but I can't even understand how they could depend on Russia for 40% of their gas. That is like the most bizarre thing to me. But guess what? It is what it is, man, and they're in trouble. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your out the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Bye-bye.